Okay, question number two. The quadratic equation x squared plus p minus 5x plus 2q equals to 0 has roots negative 3 and 6. Find the value of p and q. Alright, so there are many ways how to, to solve this. So one of the, the way is that we create equation from negative 3 and 6. Create equation means um, using formula x squared minus sum of root sum of root will be negative 3 plus 6 x plus product will be negative 3 times negative uh, times 6 will be negative 18 equals 0 okay so simplify so x squared minus 3 x plus minus 18 equals 0 so we compare okay compare means uh, unfortunately here this is negative 3 so here will be positive so we say p minus 5 equals negative 3 so p is negative 3 plus 5 2 that is the value of p so the c the one that that is uh, no coefficient, so we say two q equals negative eighteen, q equals no negative eighteen over two will be negative nine. So for notes, p equals two and q equals negative nine. Okay, because I want to show you uh, another way how to do it. Okay. Uh, so, we can just replace this where x is. Um, we have x squared, so negative 3 squared plus p minus 5, negative 3 plus 2q equals to 0. So, we we'll multiply both this. So, we have 9, negative 3 times p, negative 3 times negative 5 will be negative 3p plus 15 plus 2q equals to 0 but then we have our only equations so 9 plus 15 will be 24 so we have negative 3p plus 2q plus 24 equals 0 so actually this looks uh, more difficult than the other way so what you have to do because you have equations here involving p and q so substitute 6 now so we have 6 squared plus p minus 5 times 6 plus 2q equals to 0. So 36 uh, plus 6p minus 30 plus 2q equals to 0. So we have another equation. 36 minus 30 will be 6. So 6p plus 2q plus 6 equals to 0. And um, okay, so if okay because I I I notice that two q is the same, so I just write down using the uh, simultaneous equation elimination method plus two q plus twenty four equal to zero. So we minus everything. Minus this is minus this is minus six p minus three negative three p will be nine p. This one becomes zero. This one become negative 18 equal to 0. So 9p equals to 18. P equals to 18 over 9 will be 2. And then we substitute uh, 1 uh, p equal to 2 into one of this equation. For example, I take this one. So 6p, 6 times 2 plus 2q equals negative 6. 6, I move to the other side. So we have 12 plus 2q equals negative 6. So 2q negative 6 negative 12. 2q equals negative 18. So q will be negative 18 over 2 will be negative 9. Okay? So the I'll show you two, two ways how to solve this equation.